What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. We are getting into more of the Gear Masters videos. You guys seem to actually really enjoy the Danny one, so we're going to do the uh, POW checking out her drum kit one, and then we're going to do Ale later, like next week later. So stay, stay tuned for that one. I figure we just go in age order, you know, since I'm the oldest of three. I figure that just makes sense. Clearly, I would go first. So Danny got to go first. You get the point. Um, I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. I saw they had a lot of behind the scenes and the making go stuff too. So I want to get into that. If you guys are down, make sure you blow these videos up, share them, get them around so that I know by like the view count that you guys actually enjoy this stuff and we'll keep doing the extra stuff because I like the extra stuff. I think it's cool to kind of see how they make songs, the gear they use, all that shit. So if you guys are down for like behind, behind, <laughs> behind the scenes and uh gear, gear masters and shit like that let me know in the comments we will definitely continue to do them as long as you guys enjoy them so we're gonna keep that train rolling man but let's see what uh pal has got going on with the drum kit now let me warn you i'm a guitar player a little bit of a blade a, a little bit of a bass player and a littler bit of a drummer like i can play you shit like enter sandman and uh back in black just the very like <clears throat> shit like i don't do fills and double kick and any no i'm a i'm a guitar player that shit freaking confuses me so let's see what we got all right oh make sure you guys go check out their video also i'm gonna link that down below the original so make sure you guys check that out check that out also hi i'm paulina i am the drummer from the warning and right now we're in the north american leg of our error world tour it's the second leg we're doing here in the u.s and we're very excited <laughs> we just released a new song that is called more Dude, not for nothing my cousins who are her, exactly her age do the same shit it's just like so this is what we're doing i give them such a hard time it's just a thing of their age i don't know what it is it's and just this funny. is like one of the first times that we've been playing it throughout this tour so it's been really cool i've actually had to modify my kids to play that new song so i'm gonna walk you through it this is a dw performance series and uh she's called bonbon which is marshmallow in spanish i got it during awesome. the pandemic and i was gonna like use it for the first time and the pandemic happened so it feels it still feels very new to me this is a 10 inch tom this is a 12 and that usually i go for a 14 here but right now for live i'm using a 16 and this is an 18 so i just can get like that deep sound more thump -thump. i use the toms a lot like for main like rhythm parts so i really wanted to get like that depth in there my bass drum actually is a little bit shorter in depth. This is 2214 bass drum. My snare. So this is what I'm saying. I know standard sizes. I don't know how much of a variation that is. Like, I know what I have is essentially what she has. I think. Yeah, I have the 18. I don't remember what my kick drum is is a hand hammered black beauty as you can see i have that same snare beauty. drum though uh, i really like the snare i've once again I've, I've been using it for kind of a short time it was actually a gift so i'm very happy with it it has a very deep sound it sounds gritty it depends on obviously how you tune it but my jump the carlos always like gets just such a beautiful hard hitting like a snap i use clear pinstripe Remo heads Same. again, ten. Like legit. I might have those exact skins on my drum kit. I don't. You guys can't see. You can kind of see. Oh, over there, sort of. I think I have the like those legit skins. Here's the difference though. Hers are probably brand fucking new. Mine are years old. And. It, <laughs> 12, 16, 18 on the snare. The microphones are I interesting. Use the control yeah, that's sound. Cool. Coded one from Remo. So the tuning, especially in the toms, usually varies. These are usually tighter, so I can get a good bounce from it. It sounds higher. 
but these ones are usually kind of tricky sometimes because I like them very loose. I like them deep sounding. But sometimes we get a lot of resonance. But Carlos, my drum tech, has this very cool trick. I don't know if you can see inside the the drum, there are cotton pads. We use those to remove our makeup after the shows. And uh, Carlos, one day, he just put them there. And it really dampens the sound, but it doesn't like mute it completely. Uh, that's so that's cool. great. So I can get them a little bit loose without it that's being a That's a fun a trick, actually. I never thought about that. So what we had growing up, I still have them. I don't have them on there right now. Um, those rubber pads you would put over the drum that muted it quite a bit. Now, obviously, you can't use that for recording or live or anything, but like to practice, we had they're like rubber pads that fit over the skins, so it mutes it enough that you're not pissing everybody in the house off when you're playing, but you still can, you know what I mean? So that's kind of cool. I never thought to do that. I've seen people like stuff pillows and shit in the kick drum. I've never thought about makeup pads, so that's funny. So I am a Sabian artist and I use HHX all over my drum kit. This is Those are all Sabian symbols. An 18 HHX. This Not is that 16. One, though. Not this fancy, is also fancy 18. Sabians. Mine are like I got my kit years ago, so mine are probably like hundred dollars a piece symbols, and I only have three. So she's got thousands of dollars worth of symbols right there. Uh, it's funny though. We have like literally almost the exact same drum kit. Mine's just like the very, very dumbed down cheap version. And hers is like the, hey, I actually made it in music version, which makes me sad. But I'm also a guitar player, so I guess I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> the Ozone Evolution and the 20 China. This. It's a 14. I use this on very few songs, but it does make a huge difference because I keep this a little bit more close than I do this one. So every time I just want to like ride over here when I'm doing like double bass. That's pedal actually things, really smart. Like this, this is my little splash. I love it. I don't use it as much as I would like to, but hopefully in newer songs I can incorporate it more. My ride, it's a raw bell dry ride. 21. And she's a beauty. This is my absolute favorite symbol ever. I've been using it for years, I think for like six years now. Jeez. And it has such a cool sound. I crash a lot all the time, but I usually have just a normal, like another HHX over here. But this, it just sounds so much darker. So it really cuts through I, like the that's brightness true. of these HHX ones. I just incorporated this cowbell, this LP cowbell, to my drum kit because our new single, More, has it. Her microphones are so dialed. Like, everything sounds phenomenal. Even just her touching the, the cowbell. This cowbell, this LP cowbell, to my drum kit because so cool. our new single, More, has a part with cowbell. And it's really fun using it. I haven't used a cowbell in, like, years. And um, it has like its little tricks because sometimes it just like really falls, but it sounds so cool. And it's just really fun to just like drive in that. I love it. I am a big Firth artist. I use 5B barrel tip. I just changed. I'm gonna be honest, I turned around to see what drumsticks I have and I don't see them at all, so I don't know where they went. That means the child took them and put them somewhere. Yeah. Problem is, drumsticks are more expensive than guitar picks. So she's gonna lose a lot of guitar picks on me. Also, if you're a guitar player, you know this for a fact, there's a guitar pick gremlin that hides them. You can put it down and it won't be there. It's a real thing, promise. But now I have my own drumstick gremlin changed drumsticks actually i used to use 5a but i'm a very hard hitter and i wanted to stop like it just felt really light in my hands so i got this heavier set and i've been using it this whole year and it has made such a good difference i don't have to use as like much strength to get like a very hard that makes a lot of sense sound out of that makes a lot of this sense DW i was actually saying that in her um the fuck video oh in um the one they did with bandmade Actually, oh no, that'll be the one they. The, I just put it out on 
I think Friday I released it. They they did a song with Bandmade, and the one comment I made about her versus the drummer from Bandmade is she seems to smack the shit out of those drums compared. Like she seems to be like a uh, like Portnoy, just like yeah. You rack that I have. It's actually been like very modified by my dad. My dad like loves hardware, and uh, it used to be like a little bit too large. For me, so he like grabbed like a saw and just started cutting everything to my <laughs> That's size. That's something I would do. And uh, everything is just like so meticulously measured and marked. So Dude, like I every time that we're touring, would do like that. my drum tech and everyone in production can just set everything up really quickly. So it's very efficient. Every time we open for for a band or something, we can get everything done in a very short amount of time. So we're not bothering anybody, and it's great. And it's also very comforting to arrive to each show knowing that the measurement of everything is gonna be exactly the same each show. So you don't get like wonky yep. drum sets sometimes. It's all measured precisely. The pedal that I'm using is a machine That's DW smart. pedal. I, I used to use a direct drive from DW, but after they released the chain one, I prefer this one so much more. And uh, it takes a while getting used to it, but once you get the hang of it, it's so easy to control. And again, I'm a very hard hitter, so it just comes back to me in such a easy way for me to like not hurt myself while I'm playing. Mm -hmm. And I, I just really love it. I've been using it for a while. Um, in my hi-hat, I'm using a uh, 9000 DW. I'm a DW girl. And uh, for my MIDI pedals, I'm using some Roland MIDI pedals. They're very heavy, which is great. the hell is that See, this is where this is where my drum knowledge is about to fall the fuck off what is that also pedals. i was gonna I say something down here oh i have the same not the same dw pedals but i got uh chain drive pedals too pedals there i can't double kick though so it's not like i could but anytime it's like i can't my fucking feet don't work i'm a guitar player fuck they're very heavy which is great so basically um i launch all of our like stems and click through ableton and uh i used to have to do it with oh so she sets the that makes so much sense so does she does she control the click in the e in ears for everybody that's kind of cool. I didn't know that the drummer set that. That would make a lot of sense, actually, that the drummer sets that. For like stems and click I did not know Ableton. that. And uh, I used to have to do it with like manually, but it, it kind of looked really like clunky. Like after every single song, I would have to go and click enter. So with these MIDI pedals, I can launch the whole show without anybody noticing. And uh, I used to have like, I've been through so many MIDI pedals and MIDI pads. But these are so great because they're really heavy. So like, they're not going to be set off by like the slightest movement. They're like, it oh, takes you gotta, like, hit a good hit for it to change the, the scene. So they're fantastic. I have a... Oh, okay. So it literally just lets her go down the line and set where they are in this. That's really cool. I didn't know Star that was pedal? a thing. That's like a fucking new age shit. Probably not, but new enough to me where I'm like, what the hell are you talking about, lady? And a stop pedal, just in case something goes wrong. We're all humans, so sometimes we need to stop the click track. It's just so efficient for That's everybody so cool. to have these systems, and it's fantastic. That's really cool. The drum really drum cool. that I use is the DW Airlift 9000. She really is it's a great. fucking DW I use it in the lowest setting because I'm really short, So, but it's really comfortable. I love it. Uh, for in-ears, I use in-ears audio. They are fantastic usually we grow them out really quickly but these have just like really lasted and usually the problems that we have with in-ears is like the cables at one point like they just don't plug in correctly and you don't hear stuff but these ones have lasted wonderfully what i hear the most in my mix is the bass because me and my sister are just like really connected when we're playing so having that like those bass ends just like really makes a big difference that's really cool for my kick block i have a kick block because I hit it very hard and usually it just goes so far. Sometimes like when we didn't have That's a kick amazing. block, sometimes it's it's so funny to me cuz she's so tiny, but apparently she's tiny but got some power in there cuz if she's moving that drum kick, 
or hitting the drum uh the kick pedal that hard that the whole fucking kit is moving away from that's crazy that's that's fucking cool i love that that's cool i don't know why i get a kick out of that have to be like there in front of the drum just like for it to not move so that is a lifesaver and i love it so that was my gear That's run through. So cool. um, once again, we are the warning. Our webpage is called thewarningband.com. We are the warning band on all social media. So go check us out. Thank you for watching. That's so cool. She's such a little like ball of fire. I said it in a, a few videos. <clears throat> it seems like she really has that middle sister syndrome coming from the oldest of my three, where like the middle one. <laughs> I like I really really read like I'm I have like a thing because it's a true thing I feel like I understand Danny's point of view because I'm the oldest so I get her the most I get pow fantastically though because my little sister my middle sister is a ball of fire and brimstone she is the shortest, just like Pal. She has the biggest attitude, just like Pal. He's a little fucking devil. A little now she's twenty-eight. Um, and then the youngest is same thing, kind of quiet. Doesn't need to be super out there. Whatever. It's not taller than me though. So that's the only difference, I guess. Oh, and well, the fact that I'm not a chick. You get the point. It's kind of cool. I don't know. I just, I feel like Pal is just like a little pit bull. You know? I don't know. It's just something with it. Uh, I really enjoy doing these. These are such more like lax videos. So if you guys don't want to hear me yap through the whole thing, the original is down below. Go check it out and leave me the hell alone about how much I talk through videos because I like having a conversation about shit. That's the whole point, right? So those of you who are here for that, I appreciate you. Those of you who are those of you who come in here and go, why you, you just got to shut up and listen. I'm like, then go fucking watch the original brother. You came to see me talk. That's why we're here. Anyway, I really enjoy doing these, um, these other kinds of reactions not like all music so if you guys want to see more gear masters or more gear run throughs or more behind the scenes videos drop a like tell me what you guys want to see if there's specific bands you want to do like behind the scenes or the making of shit I, I really want to do that too so maybe we'll make this a thing i'll put out like saturday videos and we'll do this so let me know what you guys think i hope you guys enjoyed and next week we'll be doing ollie's face run throughs and shit so let's get into it hope you guys enjoyed as always if you did like subscribe check out the patreon the merch store and i'll catch you in the next one man as always stay happy stay healthy later